and welcome to another episode of Applic Reviews, where we demo and highlight useful software and tech. Today, I'll be reviewing a minimal yet powerful app called Slugline, so let's jump right in. Now, you might be wondering, what is Slugline? Slugline is a beautiful minimal screenwriting application that allows you to focus on your writing as well as enabling you to write almost any kind of script, whether it's a commercial, a movie script, a play, etc. So let me go ahead and bring up my outline really quick. And we want to jump over to the web page just to give you an idea of the quality of or potential quality of an application such as this one. And we're not going to really get in too deep into the web page, but as you can see, it's well designed, nice layout, showing off the application, and that gives you an idea of what kind of developers uh, you're dealing with and what kind of people behind the app that you're dealing with who um, that is interested in in delivering all the way from the web page to the application to the features etc so with that said let's go ahead and go into the app store really quick and as you can see it has a host of features which we'll be getting into in a little bit just show you a couple of screenshots just to give you an idea before we get into the demo and also this is a niche application which means that only a certain amount of people are going to get an application that that's focused is on screenplays or writing scripts and for it to be a a niche application it's definitely a very popular and um, powerful one and as you can see it's one of the only uh, I'm not going to say one of the only but it is an application that has five stars which you rarely see especially in the App Store but anyway let's go ahead and close out of that and get right into our presentation so what are the core features now I bro I've broken that up into pros and cons so some of the pros for this application for me is is minimal focus and function as far as the interface which means there's not too many bells and whistles it's only a select few things you can do and really the, the only thing you can do or the main thing for you to do is write and focus on focus on what you're writing and uh, pretty much driving you to keeping keeping your hands on the keyboard it has a integrated outline which I'll uh, built an integrated outline which I'll be demonstrating find and replace feature I have that on the list two times for whatever reason so let's take it off Hollywood standard screenplay format which you'll find in Final Draft and Movie Magic etc as well as a font called Courier Prime uh, which seems to be getting really popular amongst uh, screenwriting applications and in the screenwriting community uh, Fountain which is actually derived from a markup language called Markdown which was developed by John Gruber and I'll include a link in the description so that you can go ahead and and uh, research that for yourself but basically what Markdown is is a markup language to enable you to uh, write in plain text and be able to port it to any platform and so Fountain is a derivative of of Markdown and of course it is focuses on screenwriting okay so it's Fountain uh, it uses Fountain and it's portable plain text another feature this application includes which I think is done really well is dual dialogue it also has built-in autosave and includes several templates now looking at the the interface here, this is the slug line, and this is the welcome screen when you first started up. And as you can see on the right here, we have recent documents, and on the left, we have new screenplay, open screenplay, use a template, and learn about slug line. So, the first thing we're going to do is just give a brief uh, D 
demo of the application applications interface here so as you can see it opens up to a blank page nice clean does it is for the most part easy on the eyes be, just because of the gray background and the kind of off-white sheet that you'll be writing on and it works uh, as far as I can tell um, very close to any other screenwriting application such as like movie movie magic screenwriter or uh, final draft so if you press F you can see that it has an autocomplete come up for you to fade to or fade in I will bring up either enter excuse me interior or exterior you press the tab key type where you are so dark room day okay put a little bit of description um, so man in uh, 40s let's see walking a slow gait towards let's see along a narrow pathway and actually I'm going to just show you some markup elements uh, which is similar to markdown so if you put an asterisk here and then an asterisk at the very end here you see it go into italics okay As um, truck zooms by at the speed of light okay just add a little drama here but we'll actually I'll say a huge okay and we want to, we want this to be bold so double asterisk and all of the uh, fountains uh, markup syntax can be found on fountain.io which I will leave in the description as well as going through the help menus but I'll get into that in a little bit okay this is how you would create a character type all capitals all capital letters and I'm gonna say uh, Timothy and then you press tab press the tab key and it drives that over into a makes that a character element and a parenthetical comes up if you want to put something in there you can but if you don't want to add a parenthetical in this case you would just press tab again and now you can type some dialogue so up and get out of the way he's coming straight for us as fear um, goes through everyone's limbs okay and so let's say we want to want Timothy to continue talking we just type T and as you can see it autocompletes get well gives you an option to autocomplete his name and we can just, uh, oops, that didn't work correctly. Okay, and you press tab twice, and as you can see, the continued uh, pops up just because Timothy is continuing to speak. Okay. Oops. Okay. Uh, and I'll leave it there. Um, occurs a okay. So, as you can see, there is basically this is an example of what you can do with this application: write a script, 
whether it's for commercial, screenplay, a play, etc. And all of the bells and whistles as far as um, the functionality and the, the, the structure is built into the screenplay. Everything that you need to write a screenplay is built into this application. So I'm going to describe some more of the interface. As you can see down here, we have uh, the page count. So you get the the page number, the page that you're on now, and then the page count, which is on the right. Here you get a, pre a preview. So this is where we can actually eliminate stuff like this, the markup, and just get that a bold and an italic, as opposed to those special characters that I um, inputted in order to make uh, in order to highlight or bold that and in order to italicize uh, narrow. You can go back into editing the document. You can print. And I don't have a printer hooked up, but this is the print screen. We can change the copies there. We can print all pages, single or a range of pages. We can show details, so we can get into more details of how we want it printed, etc. Let's hide that. We can actually save a uh, PDF. We can actually open PDF, a PDF and preview. We can save as a PDF, save as a postscript, etc. And a number of other options. These are specific to my machine, uh, based on some of the applications that I have on here. Let's cancel that. And now we're going to do a brief let me uh yeah we're going to do a brief run through of the menus. So here just shows the about preferences. There are no preferences. It has a funny little thing here that says I prefer writing. Agreed. Here we can uh, do all of the, the normal stuff we would do from under file as well as send to an application called Highland which is pretty much a conversion tool so it takes a uh, fountain application or a PDF and can and uh, can convert it into a final draft document for example okay all of the formatted stuff that you would see you can actually write notes and omit something that you might not want to delete which we're not going to get into we can make it bigger we can kind of zoom in so it doesn't actually have a zoom in amount but we can go bigger or smaller okay we can go full screen which I will just to show you how it looks and this is help and there is a lot of help so we got getting started why slug line the elements of a screenplay um, exporting printing troubleshooting outlining uh, slug lines menus and let's just go to outlining just to, to give you an idea of what that looks like okay so Okay, so in Slugline, in order to create an outline, you would type a pound symbol and then whatever you're typing here. Uh, so pound symbol, act one. Then if you're about to create a sequence, for example, this is just an example, two pounds, sequence one, and then blah, 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 three pounds. So it, it pretty much, the more pound symbols you use, the, the more the outline kind of goes in inward and you can go to outline show outline and as you can see it, it you click on it it enables you to go to that area within your document so let's bring that back down and I'm gonna show you one more thing and then we're going to wrap it up so let's, okay So the last thing I'm going to show you here is using a template. 
or some of the templates that's available. Okay, and it's not too many, but it's once again just enough that it enables you to write uh, with your write the screenplay that that you need to write. So adaptations, title page, three act structure, and then three act structure from ninety pages, ninety six, one hundred, and one hundred and twenty pages, and then the Blake Snyder B sheet. So if you ever read a book called Saving the Cat, which is a screenwriting uh, instructional manual, if you will, then this is the B sheet that uh, Blake Snyder included within that book. And let me just show you what it looks like. Okay. So we're not going to go through it because you'll be able to go through it if you demo the application or uh, read the book, etc. So, who is this program for? It's for, let me bring it back up. I mean, to make it disappear. So, okay. It doesn't want to go down here. There we go. All right. So, <clears throat> who, is, who is this program for? It's for anyone who writes scripts of any kind. Is for anyone who needs a distraction-free writing environment because you're easily distracted or because you like to really focus and hone in on what you're doing. And for the person who don't need all the bells and whistles, uh, something, you know, like a, a movie magic screenwriter or a final draft. It's available only on OSX. It's available in the Mac App Store for $39.99. And uh, for the price, it, like I said, it's a really powerful application. And I'll include all of the, the links in the description as far as the website and stuff like that that we've gone through. So rating and recommendation. Um, I rate this application overall as a 5. It's pretty much perfect as far as uh, being a screenwriting application. So obviously, I, I highly recommend it. So step-by-step step design, I give it a five because it's easy on the eyes, almost flat interface, looks really nice, um, et cetera. Capability, I give it a five because um, there are a lot of screenwriting applications out there that you really get bogged down in the settings and going through menus and not focusing on your writing and this application enables you to do that at a high level. Performance and stability, I give it a 5. I haven't had any crashes uh, so far. Hopefully I won't have any at all. And performance wise, it performs well in terms of memory. This, they just uh, had a, a recent update, they update that made it faster um, to scroll through doc documents, large uh, screenplays, etc. So I give it a 5 there. Price for the quality that you're getting um, it definitely deserves a five because and what and also I'm gonna say compared to some of the other applications that are available you just don't get this kind of clarity and I think that it reflects in the in the the ratings on the, on the app store it's a perfect five um, competition I give it a four because although it is a great application it's still a minimal application it doesn't have all of the bells and whistles that a movie production company would need um, so it could be missing certain features uh, that could come in handy for someone who wants a total complete solution but beyond that it does you know the job, since it is a minimal application, it does what it's, what it's supposed to do. And that's enable you to write screenplays and focus on your writing. Okay. So this has been a review for Slugline. Thanks for watching. And if you found this review helpful to you in any way, be sure to check out the app for yourself. Watch some of my other reviews and remember to comment, like, and subscribe below.